Our friend's on his way. <laughs> We're going to Arizona. Wow. It's happening. It's happening. It feels so crazy. <laughs> Whoa! We are in Arizona. We've been in Arizona for a couple days at this point. We are officially in Scottsdale after the most unbelievable experience in Sedona. It was truly so good for the soul. That land is unbelievable. It looked like a painting. It still boggles my mind that that is a real place and that landscape and those rock formations are real. But what has really blown me away is all of these magical, synchronistic moments that have happened. Everything feels like we are exactly where we are meant to be and so divinely perfect. We had one full day in Sedona and it was truly a day that I will cherish forever. And nothing crazy monumental happened, but these magical little gifts happened. It first started that we went to this juice shop for breakfast to get like smoothies and I look over to my left and my friend's skincare line, which I don't see often, it's not like a, it's a big brand, but most of it is sold like direct to consumer to my knowledge. And her lotion and her body oil is sitting on display for purchase. And I was like, oh my God, she's here with us. My friend is with us. It feels like a little wink from the universe. And that was just so special. And then we walk to this little shop right next door and I see this bag hanging. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that's my friend's design. And I look at it, sure enough, it is. And it was my other friend bag hanging for sale. And it was just like, oh my God, these people are here with us in spirit. We can feel that love and that connection and so that started this day on this beautiful note and then we went to this stupa to go make our wishes for what this new chapter looks like and that was so special and nourishing and we were like okay we should go get some like spiritual experience that is available in Sedona so we were like let's get our aura photos I've had them done quite a few times when I lived in New York City and when we went there they had a couples option so we sat down we got our aura photo and he was like there's so much intuitive connection between you two that you can speak without using words and when you're together your intuition is only heightened for both of you individually your gifts become stronger and then he was saying this other color and the, the bird is wanting to talk 
this other color in the aura shows that we have a great sense of communication to each other and those around us in relationship to our relationship and it just felt so reassuring but the real kicker and granted we didn't tell him anything about us we just sat down he didn't even know our names yet he's like this on this side on the uh right side of the of us is this green light coming in or maybe it was the left one side of us this green color was coming in and he's like that's a sign of healing and that is the heart chakra and there's so much love and there's so much healing pouring into you and because where the color was it's showing that that is moving into our dynamic and it was just so like reassuring and like validating of our own knowing that intuition that we both have and the magic just kept flowing we decided to have lunch and we walk into this place and it was so beautiful it was like all organic made from scratch food delicious food but we're sitting in this like little garden they have and there's all these butterflies in this tree like just beyond our table and then there's also this beautiful white dog just like roaming around that was someone's dog that they let off leash. And I said to Kyle, I would like either the butterflies to come closer to us so I can see them more closely or that dog to come over so I can love on it. And then without a beat, my next statement was whenever I see butterflies, they make me think of my grammarian poppy. My poppy's past, my grammary is very much still here, but when I see them, it's like a sign that their spirit is just like letting me know that they're thinking of me, they're with me, and they're protecting me. And I saw them a lot when I was traveling in Taiwan by myself. Like whenever I was on a hike by myself, there were these butterflies following me. And it was just like, it made me feel really safe. And I had the most amazing trip when I was in Taiwan. And so I was telling Kyle this story. I'm not kidding you. Within 30 seconds later, these two butterflies who were like this close to each other, they just flew right by my leg. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, yes, so validating. And then within 30 seconds after that, the dog wanders over, lets me pet it, and then it lays right under my chair. And it was just like, oh my gosh, this is so incredible but it gets crazier because the person who was the father of this dog was sitting at the table next to us and we started talking to him and he's like yeah i'm from this town in colorado and we're like no you're not like that is the big town that is next to where we live and so that was wild and then we're telling him why we're in arizona and he's like my dad actually had a fist size tumor and the fact that he said fist size specifically is wild because Kyle had a fist size tumor in 2004 and he then went on to say like it was a little bit rough he was in the hospital for like 60 something days but he's doing amazing now and he's traveling and he's living his life and he's in his late 80s and he's doing great and it was just like this wink of like it's so possible and it's it's happening like that healing is happening and it was we were just like riding this high this buzzing energy of oh my gosh we're here and it's divinely perfect we aren't religious but we are very i should say i am very spiritual and feel very connected to the fact that we are connected and everything is connected and that there are signs from what I say is the universe and others may say God and these just feel so reassuring. And then the day kept getting more magical. We went and did this harmonic egg which someone had recommended to us and it's this chamber that's egg shaped that's custom made that's a energetic frequency chamber and they use specific sound frequency and light to put you into a deep state of relaxation and then when you're in there which it's like sealed shut and you're by yourself you're laying in this zero gravity chair so there's no tension in the body so you can fully relax and we went because we were like let's do some energetic frequency 
healing and preparation for the surgery for both of us so that I can be in a great state of mind for Kyle and that he can be in a great state of mind going into this and just utilize that energetic healing, which we both very much believe in. Kyle went first and he had a very relaxing experience, but my experience was a little different and very intense. I am very, very, very sensitive to energy. And so I think knowing that is why my experience was very intense in, in a beautiful way. I had the most like transcendent experience and maybe that's not the right word but like that is the word that I can find. So this chamber they designed it in a way so that the sound is meant to meet right in your heart center and that is where it's supposed to be delivered into you and it's got all these crazy scientific reasons as to why it's built and how it's built and all these things and as i'm sitting in there i could literally feel the music going right into my heart and then i could feel what i thought was pain in my ear and then I sat with it and I was like, this isn't pain. It was this sensation of like it pulsing and it felt like the sound was literally like pouring into my ear directly into my brain. It was the wildest sensation I may have ever felt in my life. And then at the same time, you're looking up and I could see like shapes on the top of this egg and it was like moving and shapes were coming closer and moving away and it was so incredible. And then you're in there for 50 minutes and she came in to open it up and I had gone to another place, maybe I'd fallen asleep. She's like, okay, Rachel, you're coming out. And it, there was water outside of the, the place we were at and she had opened the windows while I was in there and you could hear it, but it sounded like and felt like the rain was like pouring over my whole body. And for a solid 45 minutes after that, I just felt like I was in this like euphoric state of mind and just like very open and very like, I needed to just like be like, and like quiet. It was incredible. There is a harmonic egg not far from where we live in Colorado and so I definitely think I want to start adding that into our healing because it is incredible and I want to investigate more of stories of people utilizing them in healing in relationship to cancer and see what people's experience are because it was unbelievable. And then we went downstairs from this place and there was this crystal um, singing bowl shop and we went in there and she played some singing bowls for us and it was so beautiful and then she offered to come play a sound bath for Kyle during his healing and it just felt like everything aligned and it was so beautiful and we had like the most magical day and we went dancing there was like a there was a band playing like not far from where we were and we went and we danced and in this little courtyard with these people and it just felt like a moment in time of showing us like what life after this all looks like and that we get to live freely and with a little less worry and a less centered around cancer and it just felt incredible. And yesterday we were heading up to Scottsdale both of our parents were getting in and before we left we wanted to go to one of these like energy vortexes that they talk about there and the guy who had done our aura photo had recommended this specific one and so we go and we try to find it and we end up at this very different place took a wrong turn somewhere which was a correct turn because we get there and we're like, okay, we're at this trailhead. Let's just see what it's like. And we walk down this very small path and there is the most unbelievable river that is like very, very, not very much moving at all. And it is so clear. And we're like, we have to go swimming. And we are both people who are very drawn to water and find it so healing and nourishing. And we got to go for a swim.
<laughs> and it was incredible and nourishing and it was a surprise and it was perfectly what we needed I had started my period earlier that day and was in so much pain for my endo and for a solid 30 minutes 45 minutes I had no pain and that was such a gift before sitting in the car for two hours and I just felt giddy with love and joy and just like clarity and certainty that we are so perfectly placed where we're meant to be. And now today, everything begins. Kyle has three appointments today in preparation for surgery, one appointment tomorrow in preparation, and then it is surgery day. So we are feeling all the things, but just like, literally nothing but excitement and certainty and clarity and i couldn't have asked for a more perfect way to go into this chapter like i already felt good and i feel even better and i didn't know that was possible and from speaking with kyle he feels that same way it's just like we feel yep grounded and centered in this next chapter and excited for what's gonna come. So I gotta go get Kyle up. We gotta go get his blood drawn. Then he's getting an infusion. And then he's getting the mapping for the gamma tiles that they're putting in the radiation seeds they're gonna put in the cavity. It's gonna be a full day. And I get to hang out with our parents also. So lots of things, it's all happening. Let's go do it. Let's go get the day moving. How are you feeling? I feel good. What are we doing? Getting uh, blood draws for for surgery in in Arizona. Two days. Two days. And you're having brain surgery. <laughs> Today was a very full, full day. We're both feeling, no, I'm feeling tired. Yeah, I'm feeling tired too. Kyle went and got labs drawn this morning and everything looks fine. His white blood cell counts are just below the healthy range, but that's not gonna change the course of him being able to get surgery, which is great. And right after that, you went and got your infusion. Oh yeah from my integrative oncologist yes from his integrative oncologist she put like mainly fluids with um ascorbic acid magnesium and some other things to just help prepare the body and help the immune system strengthen in preparation for surgery she also put in a homeopathic remedy that can help with wound healings to speed up the recovery and then we'll go and he'll get another iv after surgery before we go back to Colorado. And then, what else did we do today? We got lunch. We got lunch and then, what did we do just do? We went and got, oh, we went to the hospital and got some gamma tile mapping. Yep. They did the gamma tile mapping. So they just do a CT scan and then they'll, from that, create the map of where they plan to put the gamma radiation tiles into his brain brain cavity. Wanna talk about what gamma tiles are? They're the radiation seeds. So they emit localized radiation that will only affect the area the area in which they're placed and not the surrounding tissue as opposed to in my brain. In they are placed in the surgical cavity after this tumor is removed. And unlike stereotactic radiation, it doesn't affect the other brain matter or the other tissue around where they are trying to treat. So it's a localized treated effect and immediate treatment. Whereas if you did stereotactic, you have to wait several weeks to receive the radiation. This starts working immediately, which is great. And tomorrow Kyle meets the plastic surgeon and it's the last day with Tommy the tumor. Wow. Tommy 3.0. 
Tommy, see you later. Tommy, see you later. See you ne No, no, I correct that. Tommy, see you never again. See you never. <laughs> see you never, Tommy. I'm gonna miss Tommy. I miss, Are you really? Yeah. This caused so much havoc. Ha havoc. Ha. Um, I miss him. I Why is that? I don't know. He's been with me so, for so long. I miss. I mean, he's like he's built a lot of life on me. But do you think that part of the reason he's staying is because that you are not allowing him, to, you're not letting yourself release him? No. Energetically? No. I don't think that's, no, that's, not, that's not true at all. Okay. Yeah. I'm just curious. No. Like, I would want him to humor my brain. Yeah, just tell him he can... He can Transform and be something else, but yeah. he doesn't need to be a tumor. Yeah At least not in you anymore Who do you want to be in? No one <laughs> <laughs> Not a thing. But yeah, so I, I, never, I never had um, plastic, plastic surgery before um, Yeah, we'll be curious to see what they say tomorrow. Yeah, and like what their game plan is in terms of We don't know what their plan is So that's what that appointment is so that'll paint a different picture and yeah I personally I feel like I am starting to experience the anxious fearfulness that I knew would come once we landed here and like going to all the appointments the reality is setting in that this is happening it wasn't like that first few days the first three days no no no. I'm saying since we landed gotcha. in Scottsdale oh, like yeah. the reality is since we started going to the appointments today like it's like we're back in the reality of what's happening I still don't feel fear of like a, a poor outcome happening. Like I was saying to our parents, the fear is more of the anticipation that I'll feel sitting in that unknown that I know is coming. That unknown of I'm not going to know what's happening for several hours with Kyle. And I know that that time period is coming. That is what the anxiety is coming from mm -hmm. not knowing what's happening until it's happened and um the uncertainty that lays in that space so yeah it's presented as some having some nausea and tummy troubles um which is where my anxiety usually manifests so you know lots of ginger lots of ginger lots of ginger and and it is what it is i wouldn't be anxious if i didn't love you didn't care about you hmm. because it's just like I'm anxious because I love you and I want to know that you're okay and the unknown and the unknown of the person I love is scary yeah but what I do know is that you're gonna be okay yes and that is the language I'm going to use as if it's happened and that what we want will be and so hopefully in a video soon We'll be talking about... Recovery. Well, we'll be talking about everything going better than we could have ever expected. Yes. Yeah. All right. One more day. We'll see you tomorrow. We are in the plastic surgeon's office for the consult before surgery tomorrow. Tomorrow is brain surgery day. It's all happening. Kyle's having brain surgery. Tomorrow. <laughs> this is the last appointment and then it's just full on relaxation until 4 a.m. tomorrow when we wake up bright and early. <laughs> all right, this day has been unexpectedly chaotic and all of the emotions of everyone I think are running a little high and especially because we went and saw the plastic surgeon and it kind of changed what our plan is. He went through what his part in the surgery is going to look like and what his plan is and you know there will likely be a skin graft taken from Kyle's leg and how much and all of the things will be determined tomorrow morning but he strongly advised that we extend our stay by at least a few more days to just really keep an eye on him before we head home he doesn't like to send his patients home quite as early as we would be leaving so 
been figuring out changing flights, changing the rental car, trying to find another Airbnb, and all of those logistics, which is a bit of a headache. We also found out that the surgery, the estimated five hours we were given is only for the uh, neurosurgeons part of it. And the plastic surgeon said his part of the surgery is an estimated few hours, so two to three hours at a minimum. So we're really looking at an eight hour surgery tomorrow. And yeah, I'm feeling, wow, I didn't realize I was feeling all these emotions, but I'm just feeling like overwhelmed. And I just wanted to be like present with Kyle and not have to worry about anything but being with him today. And there's just been a lot of heavy emotions, I feel like from everyone. And it's been really, taxing and feeling really honestly stressed out and anxious by all of it and so that's the reality it has been an unideal situation but it really doesn't change Kyle's care at all it just means we have to be here a little longer and that's logistical stuff is a bit of a headache and having so many different people's emotions in the home as someone who's very sensitive, who takes on people's energy, it's been a challenging day because everyone's feeling emotions. Kyle is having brain surgery tomorrow and it is a big deal and it is a lot to process and to handle and a lot of things are obviously coming up, but Kyle is going to be okay. Kyle is going to do amazing, in fact, and those extra few days are going to be just that, an extra few days of him healing and that it is all perfectly perfect. Yeah, feeling a lot and I'm sure tomorrow is going to be challenging because I'm sure I'm not going to sleep tonight with all of the anxiety and anticipation about what tomorrow looks like and getting to see Kyle on the other side of it. The thought of that just fills my heart. I can't wait to just make, know that he is okay and the tumor is out of his brain and that everything is healing as it should. And these next 24 hours are gonna be a little crazy. So, I'll see you, we'll see you after surgery with all of the updates Please keep us in your thoughts today, tomorrow, and the next couple weeks as Kyle heals and recovers and really continues to improve his overall quality of life. I love you and I'll be seeing you on the other side of this.